many reps that you're having on an island. Another one right here where, you know, the slides away from you or the guards going away from you and it's just you, you, you and him. Yeah. I mean, I took a lot of pride in, in, in being on an island by myself. You know, I just felt like that was a little bit of a compliment, you know, towards my play. And, you know, I just wanted to do, you know, what I could to the best of my ability. And I feel like, you know, I had shown that in 2020. So. Yeah, I agree for sure. These are impressive reps, uh, you know, being on an Island. That's, that's huge in the NFL, uh, you know, any level of football, if you have a tackle who doesn't need help, I mean, you know, that can just free up the playbook and, you know, everything else. Um, I really like here how you're light on your hands, you know, you're not too heavy. You're striking with two hands. It looks like here, um, you know, once he knocks him down, you're able to just really easily reset. And that is huge to me. Um, some guys get too heavy on their hands. If they get initially knocked down, they'll lose their balance. Um, you're able to just reset and re-leverage yourself. Um, yeah, I mean, that that is persistent on your tape, I think. Yeah, that's something, you know, also as well that I took pride in was, you know, um, it's like sitting down in the chair, basically. And, you know, in this, my hips do get a little high at the point of contact. But um, um, overall, I think it was a good rep as well. Um, you know, I knew that he was going to do something with my hands as soon as I threw a punch. So I knew to sit down on it and not lean forward on it as much. And, and just as soon as he makes his move, readjust my hands to where I can get him in a better position than him.